So this is a video about the Ditto Plus Looper. I'm just going to try and show you now some things that you could do with it if you've got one. Uh, I need to press record. Am I pressing record? Yeah, I can't see. Right, so let's start. Um, two, three, four. One. which is super super cool I think let me just check this it may flatten it as we turn it off let me just see so it keeps the loops let me see if I can still separate that yeah that's really cool so even as you turn it off and back on you still get that whatever the last dub you made on that particular track you can still peel that back that's interesting anyway that's Ditto plus looper. Pretty cool. Jump in with me and let's look at it a bit closer. Not a literal jump. Okay, so the Ditto plus looper came out a few, maybe like a year ago. I think they had a bit of trouble actually getting them out and produced. But I don't see many people talk about them. The reason that I was excited about it was because of this extended play feature, which I'll show you. Um, this kind of takes it from being the Ditto to something a little bit cooler. I think also you can save loops in this thing and load loops yourself if you are wanting to do that. There is no real useful manual for it so I'll just show you what I know from this. So if you press these two together you get playback level. I think that is the level of the loaded tracks that you've got in there. Um, but if you hold it in 
you get to this extended looping mode and then you press yes once you have that option so you can turn it into the ditto plus looper mode like that and you'll see this little logo here or if you go to no you'll have essentially just a normal looper which a uh, normal ditto looper and I'll just show you that operation a second also we've got that screen there which is a bit different so with your first tap you start recording a double tap stops it okay and then we've got that pause flashing press again to start again press again we can overdub Those are the normal operations of the ditto looper. So we hold this in, and as I see, you've got this extended looper mode, which is why I bought a ditto looper in the first place. And let me just show you how this works. So essentially what this is, you can start your first loop. So I'm gonna suggest you try and do something like this. Two, three, four. So you've got your rhythm. So this, is what I like to do if I had two loopers. So essentially this will do the job of two loopers now. So I'm gonna start recording and you'll see what happens. Three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. And you wanna stop that before the end of the fourth bar if you want four bars. If you go over that, then you'll get like a weird five bar thing going on. So, now have Two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. A four kind of bar loop, depending on how you're counting it. So we can now overdub over this. Ditto Plus. So you start off with some sort of rhythm. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three. Before the end of that loop, you want to stop that. And then you'll get a nice. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
that's the Ditto Plus Looper. That's kind of the, the quick bit of stuff that I wanted to show you. I think I've had one of these before and I did sell it. I hadn't quite figured out how to get the best out of that, but I've just plugged this in and been playing with it for about 10 minutes. And that's how I'm using it and that's how it works pretty nicely in that extended play mode. So, as I say, you just hold these two here and you get this option, this kind of menu of the extended looper. And then, basically, as you let that first loop play out, you end up getting uh, as many repeats of that as you want. And so I suggest starting with something even. And don't forget that if you start with bar, if you're wanting to do a four bar, you need to stop that fourth bar recording midway through the fourth bar before you get over the edge um, so that you get a consistent four bar loop similarly if you were in your eight bars wanting an eight bar loop you'd stop kind of midway through so you'd count one two three four two two three four three two three four four two three four five two three four six two three four seven two three four eight two and stop it somewhere there before you're counting to the next kind of bar if that makes sense hopefully that is helpful to one of two of you um i can't see loads of videos about this online but i think that's kind of crucial knowledge to be able to get useful stuff out of the ditto looper so i kind of wanted to share it and now i'll go and try and film an intro with this cheers here's one other pretty cool thing for folks i think so that preset or loop thing you saw me starting at the very start of this video is on memory one now if i go to memory two presumably i can Presumably that's going to still be there if I reboot. Let's just check this. So that's, I guess, quite a cool feature of the, the Ditto Plus. You can save 99 of these things and it's really quite straightforward to use. Um, still, in my opinion, keep some of that simplicity from the original Ditto Looper, but adds these extra features, which I think could be really useful for some people. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think it is or not.